Namaste everybody. Welcome to Opinya Yoga and I am Opinya. Very excited today to film this video while I am in Thailand and one to me of the peaceful, beautiful place on earth that I would love to recommend it to you. If you get a chance in the future to come to Gok Mak, which is in Thrad province, you like to be on the beach quietly, nobody disturb you. You, know, you can just like wake up and eat, do your own yoga practice, read, sleep, kayaking. This is the place to rejuvenate your soul at any time of the year. I highly, highly recommend that. Now, the hotel that I'm in is called Sivana. S-E-A-V-A-N-A, -A -A. it's a very well maintained and taken care of. I, I highly recommend this place. I was landing it, I spent probably a little bit more money than I wanted, but it's worth every penny. Anyway, today video is back to basics and is why thing. There are details in this post that I would love to share with you. See you on the mat, everybody. First of all, let me show you how why thing is done. Then I will give you details that may hopefully help you with your practice in the future. Okay. All right. Well, that is wild thing. This pose to me, it's is a brother or is a cousin of wheel pose or Urdhva Danurasana, but somewhat it's easier to get into the pose because you go it sideways. However, it doesn't mean that it's an easy pose to practice because you really need big hip flexor stretch and also big chest opening. And those two, when they are not like opening enough for you and you jump into do um, wide thing, it can be a problematic and you might feel like this pose is not quite comfortable. So, just to let you keep in mind about that, if you want to come and do this pose in such a way that may help you to feel more at ease, you really have to get into a pose that helps you to, you know, opening your chest and really stretch your hip flexor. Also, poses that help you to strengthening your back muscles, like Cobra, Danurasana, those poses. Anyway, now, since my floor are quite soft, so I have to ship myself around the mat. So let's see. I'm gonna do wide thing by balancing on my right first. So I'm gonna ship my hand, my right hand to the left corners of my mat and also the foot. So I can flip it. And when I flip, I'm gonna be on the little toe side edge of my right. And then I lift my left leg Flip it over, bend at the knee, and then plant the left foot down. And my left leg is going to be bent while my right leg is straight. And my left foot is going to be flat on the floor while my right foot is going to be, at first, on the little toe side edge of it. Now, the space be between these two legs are really important. The more, I don't want to say the more, at least you want a foot between them because if they're really close to each other like that the space right here I'm just going to show you and you go up to wide thing it doesn't you in it doesn't give you enough opening for the hip yeah to get into the pose easier wait so you have to keep that in mind okay one more time now I'm gonna go to my left wait, I'm gonna shift my left hand to the right side of my mat. Yeah. 
and turn to the little toe side edge of my left leg. I move my right leg behind my left and at least away from the foot about a foot. Yeah. After that is to bring the belly part of the body as high as up to the sky possible. Like the highest part of this pose is your belly. Okay. So when you flip it, you lift your belly up to the sky. At the same time, what's going to happen is you are going to use a hand that is on the floor to push your weight back toward your feet. But it doesn't go straight to the feet. It's actually it's going to go up to your hips, up to your belly, and down to the legs. So you have to imagine that you create the arch in the pose in order for you to be in the pose easier or use the pose to help you to opening the chest and opening the front part of the hips and the body. Yeah. So let's say when you're here already, remember, push your weight, yeah, push your hand down to the floor, get the hips high and get your weight back toward your feet yeah, the best you can. While that shoulder is just drop back, belly is in, belly is up, each exhale, push your weight back toward the feet. Back toward the feet. Keep opening your chest. Squeeze your shoulder blades together strongly. Yeah. Hips high, hips high. And you are turning your body from sideways to up to the sky. Yeah. Sideways to up to the sky. Yeah. Turn your body as high up to the sky the best you can. Draw your shoulder blades together. Right there. And you come out, you can just like come back to kind of side plank first. Bottom hand strong and then flip your body down. Bring your right leg back to the floor and you come back down to the ground. Do you see that? See that? Sorry, there's a lot of sands on my body. So that action that I just show you when you in, you and when you're in the pose and your feet on the ground, your hands on the ground, you build wide thing with your breath. That's what you should do. And we're going to do it one more time. Okay? Please don't worry about the hands. That is do nothing yet. Don't worry that you're going to bring it alongside your ear yet. One thing I observe over the years is that when you pay attention on the hands, that you can kind of live alongside the ear so much, you forget the bottom half of the body. Yeah. Anything from that shoulder downward is no movement at all because in a way, it's almost like your arms tricking you that you're in the pose deeper because you move your arms so much, but nothing happening in your body at all. So please leave that hands the last thing to come back and, and add it into the pose, okay? Balance on your right hand, yeah. right leg, turn to the little toe side edge of the foot, yeah. and then you flip open, left leg cross over, about a foot apart. Left foot on the ground, knees bent, yeah? And we're gonna do seven breaths here. Inhale, exhale, push, squeeze your shoulder blade, hips high. Inhale, you just breathe. Yeah. Exhale, push your weight backward, hip high, draw your shoulder blades together. Start to turn your body up to the sky. Yeah. Inhale, exhale. If you look at my left leg, left leg right now, it go from balancing on the little toe side, I'm gonna come back forward a bit. Right there. The foot on the bottom, two, become flat is because I push my waist so far backward, which is really make that foot grounded to the floor. But the thing is, where is the camera? <laughs> it's not going to happen easily if the dome like this arch shape is not happening. It's, it's going to be difficult for you to really ground that foot. So don't Worry about that yet, okay? Yeah. Yeah, full chest opening, full front opening. 
You just curl your head back. Last piece is the arm on the other side. Yeah? And you come back. Whoa. That's a strong push. Come out safely. I hope that's clear. Well, one more time. Bottom hand, please. Try your best to not let it go hyperextended uh, to protect the joints in your wrist and your elbow. Like we want four corners of the hands to the, to the ground. Yeah. Big chest opening, big front body, hip flexor opening, strong back muscles. You do the best you can do because the pose itself is will help you to like opening your chest, opening your hip flexors make the back muscles stronger. If that arch is not as deep, but it feels good, it's, it's great, okay? So balancing the right, right foot, left leg behind, push the weight backward, push the hand out to the floor, lift the hips high, exhale, push, open, arch the back, hips high, inhale, Stay still, exhale, push your weight back, lift the hips up, turn the chest open, inhale, exhale, squeeze your shoulder blades together, shoulder blades, squeeze chest opening, opening the groin, back muscles strong, weight go back toward the feet. So right here, it's my maximum. If you feel like you hit your max, it feels good. Hands right here. It's doing nothing. You can just add it while you curl your head back. Voila. One thing, everybody. Come out. Yeah. Sides plank first. Flip your body down to the ground. And here you have it. One thing, back to basis. Hopefully, I give you some tips for your practice in the future. If so, please give this video a thumb up. If you never subscribe with the Pinya Yoga yet, allow me to welcome you to a Pinya Yoga, everybody. And if you're inclined to share this video with everybody else that love to practice yoga like you do, like I do, it will be my honor. See you in the next video, everyone. Namaste.